Howdy folks, this is Tall Terrell here, and welcome back to Microsoft Life Simulator 2020, and PB Sandwich is out there today, and so is, oh my, lots of people, so, <laughs> oh my. So normally, I'll tell you what we're doing in a minute, welcome back by the way, I'm the Tall Turtle, did I say that, and this is Microsoft Life Simulator 2020, I think I said that too. Normally we don't fly with multiplayer on because we see all these names everywhere. Of course, you can turn off the names and still do multiplayer, but then we still have people out there bogging down our system, and we don't even know they're there. So normally turn it off unless we're in a rural area, but I thought for today, why not leave it on? And now I remember why we turned it off. But that's okay. Uh, we are in Eckerd, Indiana, which means Chicago is over there somewhere. That's probably why we see all these people, and they're flying around Chicago, which we are going to do a Chicago VFR very soon. It's on my list. But why are we here? Oh, we're in the JBM, or JBL, JBM, VL, whatever this airplane is called. I can never remember. But that's what we are. Like before, not my favorite plane, not my least favorite. It's just a plane that we're going to use. Why are we here? Well, I mentioned in a previous video that I have a piano. And we're going to fly and check out the piano factory where my piano is made. It is one of only three USA piano brands. And it's the best of the three USA piano brands. It's the like little secret piano brand that nobody knows about. Very low volume. They only make, I think they only make like 50 a year right now. 100, well they, they're exporting to China now. The China Chinese market too. But um, it's like 50 to 100 a year. That's all they make. So hand built, one at a time, mom and pop piano brand. But it's extremely high end. And it's not that expensive. It's, well the market value which literally changes from city to city so your prices are going to be way different but the generic pricing the smp they call it twenty thousand dollars for an upright hundred thousand dollars for a grant um so they're high in boutique brand i have an upright i cannot tell you what i paid for it because i have an nda because um it's like i said it's different everywhere you go so i'm not gonna tell you what i paid for mine other than it was not 20 grand but anyway i'm being very clear and very careful because um i want to make sure that the brand has a very good publicity um i've mentioned in the previous video that my individual instrument i'm having issues with but it's probably the only time ever that they've had an instrument with issues lucky for me right um so they're very super high-end I just keep saying that. I know I keep saying that because, again, i got to be very careful <laughs> because I don't, you know, these videos get attention. And I actually did a video for another piano factory, and that piano factory found my video, and they loved my video. And that was the Estonia Piano Factory. Um, so I just want to be very careful because it's an amazing piano, and we're going to fly over to their factory, and people are going to find this video not looking for flights in. So I just want to, I'm going to repeat myself a lot. And I just want to, I'm going to get that out of the way. So what brand is it? It's the Charles Walter brand. Um, Charles Walter himself signed my piano. He signed all of them. He passed away recently. And now his son-in-law and son are doing it. I can't remember who's doing what, but mine is signed by Charles Walter. One of the very last ones he signed. Um, so anyway, where is it? It's like, you can actually see it from here. We're going to fly over it and then see it up close. I think I see it from here, but I'm not going to point it out yet. Anyway, so what does that mean? I mean, Chicago is right there with that mess of people. And Detroit is... Not Detroit. Um, What big city would that be in Michigan? That's where those people are. And um, we're going to fly around and have a good a good look at the area. Eckerd, Indiana. Gary, Indiana is just to the north of us. We may or may not land there. Um, What else can I say? Real world weather is turned on. Live weather is turned on. So apparently there's no snow here. I mean, is there normally snow in this part of the United States? I would think so, right? I lived in Cincinnati and we had snow even. And this is much north of Cincinnati. So, I don't know. Anyway, that was an extremely long introduction because, again, i got to be careful whenever I talk about things that are could get attention. I just need to be very careful. So that's why you're going to hear some more rambling like that. Let's hop inside. I did not break out my checklist for this. Silly me, I know it kills the immersion a little bit, not have my checklist. We'll just use the in-game one, which is not active pause. It's that one. There we go. Uh, fuel tank, open left or right. Um, right now it's off, so let's do right. Throttle idle, it is choke. That must be this. Yep. Master on is probably here. Avionics on. Fuel pump on. 
brakes. Um, parking brake, I guess, is on. Um, starter engage. Is that going to be this one? Okay, it is. Okay, we're up and running. More pressure check, choke off, brakes released. There we go. Of course, my checklist has far more detail to it. Um, otherwise, let's see. Let me zoom out so you can see where we are. There we go. So see the Chicago area here. Um, and then I don't know where those other people are. Maybe that is Detroit. Eh, I don't know. Where would there be a huge group of people other than Chicago but on this side? Huh, I don't know. Otherwise, I have it written down where we're going. We are going to fly due east along the highway, which is parallel. It's a road parallel to I-90. So this is I-90. We're going to fly along this road. And then it's the between the third and the fourth roads from the airport. So we're literally going to get in the air pods and look for this panel factory. And then um, I'll be able to tell you if it's like it is in real life or not. And then we'll land somewhere random. Don't know where yet. All right, it's a pretty big airport. So let's tune on ATC. Is there ATIS? There is. Let's listen to the ATIS. Kilo Echo Kilo Mike Automated Weather Observation 16000. All right. Wind 230 at 5. So hopefully we use runway 27, hardly any wind. Few clouds. Let's hit B for the barometer. I said B for the barometer. Is it 29 or 9 or 2? It is. Okay. Let's tune in ground and do VFR taxi. Request taxi to go due east, which is 6. Elkhart ground, Turtles of Tango Sierra, 4105. Request taxi for departure to the east. Turtles of Tango Sierra, 4105. Taxi, Alright, we're just going to make a U-turn then. Let's acknowledge first. Acknowledge. So we're just going to make a U-turn and then go right out to 27. Very straightforward. Press it flaps down. Wait, we should need some lights. We need a strobe. Um, anything down there we need? I don't think so. Okie dokie. Um, uh, did I get flaps down? Uh, why is my oil dying here? Why does it say oil pressure low? Okay. Whatever. Where's the flap indicator? Oh, right there in front of me. <laughs> right there. Okay. Parking brake off. And I like my taxi view. And let's do a U-turn. Just like this. And look out, dude. Oh, ouch. Oh, sorry. You did not need those knees, did you? Alright, we're just going to turn left here. zip a doo da See all those names. And again, we'll do a little fast taxi here. I mentioned in real life that I've seen planes like this taxi in one of my local airports, not the main airport. And boy, they taxi really quickly sometimes. Very fast. All right. Um, oh, boy. Oh, look at that. Real life flight. Look at all these people. Oops. Did I miss or did I go the wrong way? No, that's right. Looking at the map. Right here. See? We're going the right way. Alright, there's a forklift in the way, but that's fine because <laughs> we're going to stop before then anyway. Let's get up to the stop sign and tune in tower. And it's going to give us clearance. There we go. Request takeoff number three. Elkhart there it tower, is. Tango, Sierra, landing lights. Ready at runway 27 departure to the east. Turtles of Tango Sierra, 4105, cleared for takeoff runway, 27 departure to the east approved. I think that was clearance. Cleared for takeoff runway, 27 Turtles of Tango Sierra, 4105. Yeah, let's get going. Come on, any day now. There we go. Looking good. All right. Let's hop in and do a rolling start here. Why am I getting all this weirdness? I've never noticed that before. Friction, YouTube, that's what's okay. We'll look up friction on YouTube, buddy. Let's look you up. Um, 
I kind of scoff because that's the thing now because you're not allowed to advertise right on other people's channels and discords and things so what people are doing hang on stop brakes gear up flaps up we'll get a little bit of a run here um so what people do is they put youtube after their name in their name so you know they're on youtube i admit it's clever right i'm flying a straight line by the way using the synthetic vision i admit it's clever but it's annoying <laughs> it's really annoying all right we got to pay attention here so this is i-90 i think there's actually two main roads that run through here this is i-90 yeah so there's i-90 and then there's this road we want to go back to that road without crashing um i want to do this outside so we can see but at the same time it's fun to be inside for immersion so i have notes follow the road parallel to i-90 but south of i-90 is between the third and fourth roads from the airport. So how can I get a nice screenshot without a bunch of names in it? That's kind of the problem too. Um, I'm gonna have to go. Oh, I'm gonna get names no matter what I do, huh? We'll have to do a drone image for my thumbnail so I don't get all these names in it. All right, so there's a road, the road I was talking about, I think, and then we're gonna go three between three and four roads from the airport. Alrighty, and I have a note, it's on the south side of the road, but that might actually be wrong. About the same. So yeah, it's a high-end piano brand, I have the utmost respect for them, especially because it's kind of a mom-and-pop family operation, and they're able to do so well. Um, but they're a pianist's piano, so you've never heard of them unless you run into them or you're a pianist yourself. Um, but I have had... A lot of people. Okay, we're going to count roads now. So there's the first road. I've had a lot of people, at least a dozen people, buy their pianos because of me, of my videos and um, messages through YouTube and piano forums and stuff. So I want to be careful in how I say it. That's why I'm repeating myself. So anyway, there's the second road. I know I'm staring intently because I want to make sure we keep track of where we are. And. Okay. Is this it? Let me hop inside and active pause. Take out the drone. And okay, I have Google Maps up here next to me. And that building, there's not it. It is this little one right here. So how, how do I speed up? What are my keys again to speed up my drone? I change them. Can't remember. Actually, let's hop back in the airplane. We have a ways to go yet. Whoops. We can go like that. There we go. And now we'll active pause. That's it right there, underneath us. Boom. Now we'll take out the drone, and that should be it, right? Yeah, it's the brown building. Yeah, that's it. Okay. So, well, come on. How do you use a flight sim? There we go. And that's exactly what it looks like. One million percent. Because again, it takes flyover imagery and satellite imagery and figures this out. I don't know how it figures this out, but this is exactly, exactly the piano company right here. And all these trucks and stuff back there, they own, um, I believe it's simply Walter Trucking. So they own a trucking company. They do their own piano deliveries. You can buy directly from them. You do not need to go through a dealer, which is extremely unusual. But um, I want to go there someday. I really want to go here someday. I would have to combine it with another trip to Chicago because I would have no reason to just go to the piano factory. So if I'm ever here in the Chicago land area, I will be parking right here and um, going into this building that does not have trees growing through it <laughs> and checking out the piano factory. I really wish I could. Lots of videos on it on YouTube. I admit I'm very envious of all the people who can actually go there and play all their pianos. They only make uprights and grands, but they make two grands and two uprights. Um, the two uprights are the same except for the way they look on the outside, and the grands a couple inches in difference. So very simple product base, um, but amazing. And um, yeah, they're the piano brand you've probably never heard of. But if you ever run into one used, if you're looking for a piano, 
and you're like, I want to use a piano that's really good, um, but I don't want it to be in a Chinese stencil or I guess Asian, Asian stencil is more politically correct, but stencil brands made in China, you don't want, if you don't want to do that, if you want something that will last through your grandchildren's lifetime, for sure, and you're at a piano store and you see Walter, Charles Walter, buy it, just buy it, just buy it. Used to go between, used to go about 10 grand. No matter how old, if they're one year old or 40 years old, they're about 10 grand. But because they're going to last 100 plus years. So that's where they're made right there. And I hope I can go there someday. Alrighty, so enough about the piano factory. Look how close they are to the airport. Wouldn't that be cool if I had an excuse to fly into that airport and visit the piano factory? See, my dreams are simple. I don't need to go to Bali. I don't need to propose in France. I don't need to do these crazy things around the world. I just want to take a little airplane to that airport and drive to the piano factory and play a piano and just check it out. That's my dream. Um, I guess you could say then make it happen, Captain. Well, I'm not in a position to just throw money down to do that. So, no, I can't just make it happen. But anyway... What a long video about a piano factory. Jeez. Alrighty, what can we do here? Um, I don't really want to take the time to fly to Chicago. I don't necessarily want to land on the airport we just came from. How far then is Gary, Indiana, do you think? How far is that from here? Um, it's actually quite a ways back. Isn't it? We're farther east than I thought we were. Um, let me see here. Oh, let's do direct down here. Select waypoint. Let's try that again. Um, wait, was it, it was KGYY, right? I think. Yeah. Activate direct. Hey, that worked. Okay, so that part worked. But I still can't get out of this. I still can't remember the, the full. There. Okay, hey, that worked. All right, awesome. So we didn't need to do that. I just wanted to. Um, so let's undo active pause, which means the system's in, is still running, so you got to be really careful because you can really, um, really get screwed. All right, let's turn around. Oh, my gosh, this looks so real. That is insane. One benefit, though, is now we could use autopilot using the FMS or heading bug, whatever we wanted to do. Oh, we'll just hand fly for a while. Just because we can. Watch your altitude, by the way. Only 2,000 feet. Oh my goodness, we're pretty low. But that's okay. And I'm losing my voice. Allergies, for some reason, I think. But let's just follow I-90. That's not Gary there, is it? I guess it could be. Um, let's have a look. Let's see, what is it, this one? Zoom out a little bit. That very well could be Gary. Interesting, how far away are we? Half an hour. Oh, it's longer than I thought. Well, let's firewall this thing if we can. And, um, get there as quickly as we can. So maybe we will then use, use autopilot. That way we can sightsee. I thought it was going to be like a five minute flight, but it's like half an hour. So we use autopilot just so we can sightsee with the drone. I'm going to shut my mouth because I already talked for way longer than I was planning to. Um, let's get autopilot set up. This is have autopilot, right? We can do CDI source to FMS. We can do that. Let's make sure we're not crashing anything here. Um, so we can, you know, point towards that. Can we do autopilot through here? Okay, let's try. If we do... What commands did I do? Okay, there we go. We can do it through the keyboard. Um... We need an altitude, though. We need an altitude. Let's do... Whoa, Don Mac, are you going to go for the altitude? What? Okay. What's my keyboard command for nav? Um, okay, there we go. So what I did for another airplane is I put in keyboard commands for all these things so that I could use autopilot. So it works if you force it through the keyboard. So for me it was control shift Z or shift alt Z to turn it on. Apparently altitude automatically selected. That was weird. Okay. 
And then I had Alt Shift N for Nav. There we go. Okay, that was stressful. But anyway, I'm gonna leave you with flight with a faith a bit bad. I'm gonna leave a sightseeing for half an hour, I guess. That's longer than I thought. And I will be back with the refreshed voice to land the airplane in a little bit. See you then. So we went from urban <laughs> right to farmland, right along I-90, right below our wing. And then um, obviously Lake Michigan is here and Chicago is way out of sight. I'm assuming from, well, maybe we can see the Chicago skyline from Gary. I know in real life, if you're in Gary and you go to the water's edge, you can see the skyline. There's some really cool pictures that people have. I don't know if it'll render in the sim though. In X-Plane it did. I don't know if it's going to render in this one, but we have quite a ways to go. We have 20 minutes left. Um, I, for some reason, I was thinking we were like here. I don't know why I thought that. I was thinking <laughs> we were here. Whatever. My geography is really good, so how I screw that up, I don't know. But that's okay. We're just enjoying it. Um, I do kind of want to get to bed though, so I was thinking about landing somewhere closer, but I think we'll just fly this one out. I was going to say ride it out. We'll fly this one out and um, just enjoy it because it's been a while since I've been able to fly, so we're going to keep going. I just wanted to ramble for a minute. There's a little suburban or exurban town. Alright, I'll see you when it's time to land in Gary. Oh, I turned off the nameplates by the way because they were annoying me, so there people are still out there. And if we get too close, they'll bog us down a little bit. But um, I just turned off the plates just because I couldn't stand looking at them. So now, I will see you when it's time to land in Gary. As soon as we see, we gotta nab it. There it is, number eight. Number eight. All right. They have an ATIS. Let's listen to it. See what the weather's Area like. Information Gulf one seven zero zero Zulu. Wind two three zero at five. Visibility three. Sky condition few clouds at one thousand one hundred feet. Few clouds at four thousand feet. Few clouds at eleven thousand eight hundred feet. 
Nothing complicated there. Two nine nine or two. Three zero in use. Alright. Not a lot of words, but there we go. We have golf. And two in the tower. And request full stop landing. Here we go. Gary Tower Turtles of Tango Sierra 4105 is two five miles east with hotel to land. Turtle Soup Tango Sierra 4105 Gary Tower. Fly straight in runway 30. Altimeter 29 or decimal 9 or 2 wing 230 at 5. Okie dokie, we'll acknowledge that. Fly straight in runway 30, Turtle Soup Tango Sierra so... 4105. When you're coming from 230 degrees, we're landing runway 30, so we're going to have a crosswind from the left. Not much, though. A light crosswind from the left. Not a huge deal. Um, fly straight in. Alrighty. That's it. A little bit more looking around, and I'll see you in 10 minutes and 45 seconds. So what's interesting is I saw how the imagery changed way back there. See how it's all green now? I can see the line where it was higher res and real colors and then boom. They're supposed to have an algorithm that blends it, but it didn't blend it very well. I can see the line and now we're in the green stuff. See the green roads and it's just the way that the imagery gets taken and then brought into the sim. Um, and when it's green, I notice I see like more cars on the roads and stuff that didn't get like erased or whatever. So that's kind of interesting. A big factory there. Um, but we should be getting closer. We only saw 14 miles. We're four minutes out. This must be our runway right there. I have landed here before on other sims, and I can't remember how it works, but. Runway 30, and we're facing 268, so yeah, that has to be it. So we, let's kill autopilot, which I think is shift all control z or something. I figured it out. Good. And we're going to fly in. Oh my gosh, look at this gorgeous coast. Wow. Amazing. It's also crazy how easy it is to pan fly when the wind is in your favor. All right, do we see Chicago from here? Nope, we don't. Like I said, in real life, you can see it right over there. And in X-Plane, you can see the tall buildings right over there um, from Gary. But we can't in the sim because it hasn't rendered, but that's okay. So this must be runway 30 there. I'm assuming so. Why is autopilot still giving me crap? I have to hit it again. Go away, autopilot thing. Go away. I don't know what to do about that. Anyway, I'm coming down in altitude. Oh! I forgot to tell you, during the flight I was raising my altitude simply by moving my altitude thing, and it chased the altitude. I don't know how it decided what rate to climb or what speed to climb, but it did. So, and it didn't crash us or stall us, so that's good. I thought I should point that out because that's kind of important to know. Um, there's our runway there. We're coming in for basically a base, a right base, I guess. Nice sun. It's all green, though. That's a bummer, too, because this is a big area where people fly, and they got it all green. Oh, well. I guess they can't win them all, but this isn't rule 
Kansas we're talking about here. Not that there's anything wrong with rural Kansas. Alright, let's get ready to land our plane. It's been a long flight, longer than I thought it would be, but again, that is fine. Um, just enjoying it. Our speed is up. And I'm keeping, oh, there we go. There's our clearance. Thank you. Cleared to land. Uh, one's going to be 70 degrees off. From the left, barely. Alright, we'll start slowing down here in a minute. Wow. That's amazing. Look at that. Alrighty, let's get ready to land this thing here. Start slowing down. Oh, there's planes. Look at it. So apparently we're not the only one in the sim at Gary right now. You saw all those nameplates, right? So... All right, let's start slowing down. Gear down. Good thing I remembered that we had gear. Looking around, although with all that green, I really don't. It's kind of weird to look at. Let's stop descending. The pappy's all red. I was distracted by scenery. What else is new? There we go. We'll pitch up to slow down, but not change throttle. That'll keep us from descending while we slow down. See, we're too low, so we don't even see the runway. That's kind of a bad way to do that. We gotta slow down, yo. First set of flaps. And again, we're so low that I missed it. There it is. One white, huh? Even though I still can't see it. Second set of flaps. We have one more that we're not gonna need. There we go. Now we're having a good approach. The crosswind should be from the left, but it's like modeled from the right? 229, right? So that's 23 to 30 is 70. So it's 70 degrees off on our left. It's only 5 knots. Now it's a crosswind from the left. That was weird. Okay. Alright, if we want to do a crosswind landing, we'll do left wing down right rudder. Left main down will touch first, and then the rest will come down. And it'll be a firm touchdown overall. But it's so light, we're not going to worry about it too much. And right, let's get that speed down a little bit. Although, it looks like our next taxiway is quite a ways down there. Oh no, there's one in the middle. We'll see if we can get off there. Over the highway, that's cool. Alright. A little bit of throttle to soften our descent rate. It is really feeling windy. This is not five knots, this is a hurricane all of a sudden. What the heck, flights him? Why is it so crazy? Alright. Yeah, the wind's blowing us off center. Yeah. Alright, here we go. <laughs> this wind is really kind of crazy. Wow. Okay, executing the cross one component here. There we go. Let it moderate rudder to straighten that out. Holy guacamole. Alrighty. Let's get centered and soften up as much as we can. Ooh. Ground effects. There they were. And there we go. There we go. Nice. Nice. Yeah, I'm going to. I just want to get my nose wheel down gently. And which way should we go? That's like a high speed exit from the other way. But we'll use it. Man, that was. Did not feel like five knots. I guess maybe it was the 70 degrees off that I was dealing with. Didn't matter about speed. That was really difficult to land. Again, it probably looked mostly smooth to you, but it was really, really challenging landing for some reason. Alrighty. Let's see here. Take a light off. And we'll contact ground. Acknowledge the handoff. Tato soap. Tato soap. And contact ground and request parking. We'll just Gary go here. Ground, Turtle Sook, Tango, Sierra, 4105, request taxi to parking. Turtle Sook, Tango, Sierra, 4105, taxi to general aviation parking by a taxiway. Alright. Taxiing to general aviation parking we'll just by a taxiway. Go. Wait, Turtle is that Sook, us Tango, right there? Sierra. Is that supposed to be for us? Okay, well let's go around. Let's go around here and go back to them. Come on. 
Come on. What do you think? Yep, that's for us. Okay, awesome. Good. Let's hop inside and do this from inside, because why not? There we go. Nice. Alrighty, cool. Tell us to stop now. Okay. Is that the parking brake? There we go. I'll turn some things off, but um, if I turn everything off, you know, it calls it a day, right? And then I actually did switch fuel tanks halfway through, by the way. Um, turn everything off. Let's see. It calls it a day, and if I hit continue, then the sim gets rid of all of our time, and it doesn't count. So we're going to end like this. I'll turn everything off afterwards. So hopefully you enjoyed the flight. I certainly did. A lot longer than I thought. I thought it was going to be like a four or five minute video. And it ended up being over an hour and 20 minutes for me. Holy cow. Alrighty. Anyway, like, subscribe, share with your friends, blah, blah, blah. There'll probably be another break in videos now for a couple days. And then next week on the 26th, I guess, the UK update. It says 28th, but then in parentheses the 26th. So whatever. One of those days, UK update. I plan to do some stuff as quickly as I can. Hopefully, oh, there's Chicago kind of rendering in. Kind of. Right there. Anyway, I plan on doing, on doing some UK stuff like right away. There's supposed to be landing challenges and maybe some other fun things. So look for that. Um, all right, I'll try to get you another video or two before then. Anyway, hopefully you enjoyed it. I certainly did. I'll see you next time.